Ole Gunnar Solskjaer said he thinks United need three signings this summer to be considered title contenders next year. So what I'm going to do in this video is run through a list of players, a list of potential dream signings for United in key positions I think we need to strengthen. And I'm also going to run through the prices of those players. In the comments, I want to hear from you who your ideal three signings would be this summer and in what position as well. If you are new to United People's TV, there's lots of videos like this, so make sure you subscribe down below. But let's talk about signings. Now, the first position I'm going to look at is right wing. And there is one name on top of that list. You know what it is. I know what it is. It's Jadon Sancho. Yes, it would cost over 100 million. Yes, I think it sort of depends on whether United get into the Champions League, but he is our top priority this summer. If United can land Jadon Sancho, I think it could have the same sort of impact on our attack and our front three as Bruno Fernandes' arrival has changed our midfield and the shape of our attack. That's how much I rate Jadon Sancho. Dan James could then become the understudy that he should have been this season rather than the player we're always relying on. But Jadon Sancho, for me, that would be the dream signing at right wing. Now you could put Jack Grealish in there. Jack Grealish I think would probably cost about half as much as Jadon Sancho. Aston Villa are going to get relegated. Now Grealish typically plays on the left but he can, he's flexible enough to play across all of the front three and he would be a very good signing. With Aston Villa almost certainly going down they're going to struggle to hold on to him. Grealish came to Old Trafford, that was a wonderful goal he scored earlier this season but Grealish is clearly levels above Villa. And I think he would be, if we don't sign Jadon Sancho, he would be a good alternative. But what about James Madison? It feels like James Madison was the hype man a few months ago. But he's lost a bit of his spark to the point where I would consider Grealish maybe a better option than Madison. He'd even be a cheaper option. I think Madison would probably cost 70 million plus. But which of those three, if you're looking at right wing options, which of those three would be your ideal signing? Jadon Sancho from Dortmund. Jack Grealish from Villa, or James Madison from Leicester. It's clearly a position where United need to strengthen. Dan James needs to be the understudy, not the person starting week in, week out. And any one of those three would improve United, but who would be the dream for you? That, for me, is a key position we need to strengthen, though. Right wing. On to the second position I think United desperately need to strengthen. That's central midfield. I think regardless of what happens with Paul Pogba this summer, United need a new central midfielder. And more to the point, a defensive midfielder. Somebody who can work alongside Matic. Hopefully Matic would then become the understudy and wouldn't play every single week. As good as he has been, we can do better than Matic. We've got to aim for the top. And I think someone like Wilfred Ndidi, for example, from Leicester City. Massively, massively underrated player. He could come in and do such a good job in that purely defensive midfield role. Because we've got the quality in midfield now. We've got Fred there having a sensational season. Bruno Fernandes is there, Scott McTominay into the mix as well. Paul Pogba, if he does stay, even if he doesn't stay, there's, there's good quality there, but we need another defensive midfielder, someone like Ndidi or someone like Ruben Neves, who you all know that I am a big, big fan of. I think Ruben Neves could come in and add so much bite and tenacity and quality into this central midfield. And I would love to see United go after Ruben Neves. If I'm honest, I'd probably still choose Ruben Neves over Ndidi. I don't think either of them would be terribly expensive, but which of them would you consider to be the better option? And another central midfielder which we are being heavily linked with, and I hope we do sign, and that's Jude Bellingham, the 16-year-old from Birmingham. He was at Carrington this week. His mum and his dad were there. Fergie came. Wooba was there. Matt Judge was there. Toured around Carrington. Everybody seems to want Jude Bellingham, who is doing bits with Birmingham. Now, Borussia Dortmund is probably going to be the closest rival, I think, to signing him. And given their track record of taking a young player and helping their career massively, you'd sort of understand if he did move there. But I hope United sign him. But even if we do, I don't think a 16-year-old from Birmingham, even if he costs £35 million, which is a hell of a lot for a 16-year-old, should not be the only central midfield signing United make this summer. We cannot make that mistake again and leave ourselves short in those crucial positions. And defensive midfield, for me, is just as important as a new right winger. So they are the two positions I would strengthen. And here, the options there I've given you, Ndidi and Ruben Neves, but are there any others? Thomas Partey from Atletico Madrid. Let me know in the comments if there is a defensive midfielder that you would love United to sign. But I'd love to see us sign Bellingham, 
but another central midfielder too. So the Bellingham, because he's so young as a 16 year old, I'm sort of counting him as a separate signing. Not in these three that I think can change us into title contenders. And I suppose the obvious position here that does need strengthening is a new striker. Odia Nogalo has come in in January and he's made a difference. He's got three goals so far to his name. He's given us the hold up play that Martial and because Rashford's injured, well Rashford didn't really do it anyway, but he's a different option. But United certainly need to go after a striker this summer. Who could that be? Will it be Timo Werner? He is tearing it up with Leipzig. Everybody knows it. He has got a ridiculous amount of, I think he's got like 27 goals and 12 assists in 36 appearances, there or thereabouts, but he'd be very expensive. 75 million plus, maybe even more so. But Timo Werner is a player who I think all United fans would love to see us sign this summer. But if we look closer to home, why not Raul Jimenez? I think a bit like Ndidi at Leicester, Jimenez is massively underrated at Wolves. I think Jimenez could come in and do a wonderful job. He could do the sort of hold-up play that Igalo has, but he has far more to his game. He's not just a target man. He's good with the ball at his feet. He's strong in the air. He's a very powerful centre forward in pretty much every single regard and is in the peak of his career right now, age-wise anyway. I think he would be a fantastic option. But if we're talking about dream signings, there's only one striker you can really talk about, and that's Harry Kane. He will cost an insane amount of money. 125 million plus, if not more. He's on a long-term contract. He's the best striker in the Premier League. He's one of the best strikers in the world. And I don't think there's any chance of him joining from Spurs. But Spurs, they got rid of Pochettino. Mourinho's come in. The ship is sinking very quickly there. And I've, is this the summer? I always, I keep saying it every year, but it feels like every year is a possibility where the Spurs team could get pulled apart, where players finally start to leave. And it, that team that they had that they nearly won the league with is just going to disappear into memory. I don't think Kane will leave. I don't think Kane will join United. But if we're looking at dream options, you can't not talk about Harry Kane. Maybe something that's far more realistic is Odi Nogalo he gets signed on a permanent deal. If he keeps up this sort of early form that we've seen, why not? He's a player who clearly wants to play for United and will be very happy and content with having a position on the bench and being used as and when is needed. I personally don't think that Igalo on a permanent deal would be enough for United going into next season with Rashford, Martial and Igalo as our striking options and Greenwood also too, because Rashford's more of a left winger. I think he's far better there than up front. That leaves Greenwood. Is he your main striker? Is he better coming in from the right? At least Martial and Igalo. That's not enough to contend for the title, to go for the Champions League if we're in there too. I still think we need a striker. There's three there that I've named. Timo Werner, Raul Jimenez and Harry Kane, the dream, the ultimate striker signing. But what striker would you like to see United sign? Or more to the point, what striker do you think realistically United can sign. Any of those options that I've mentioned there or any others, let me know in the comments below. But those are the three positions I think United need to strengthen this summer. Right wing, defensive central midfielder and a new striker. They're the key positions. There's others that you could potentially strengthen if you really wanted to, but if we're focusing on three, they're the positions for me. Let me know in the comments below the three players in those positions you'd love to see United sign. For me, it's probably Jadon Sancho. It's probably Ruben Neves. As far as a striker goes, hell, why not Harry Kane? If we're looking at dream signings anyway, as, as, as unlikely as I think it is to happen. But let me know your three in the comments below. If you are new to United People's TV, come on, subscribe, get involved. Until next time though, take it easy.